And the Herzliya School in Cape Town, South Africa, is one of the most well-known Jewish schools in the diaspora. The school ensures its students maintain both a strong connection to Judaism and Israel, and together with Lupan O, also ensures they learn the Hebrew language. So joining us now with more is Jeff Cohen, Director of Education, and Andris Van Rensen, Executive Director at Herzliya School in Cape Town, South Africa. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure. So both uh, South Africa has a very tight-knit Jewish community. How much does Judaism and Hebrew and the connection to Israel sort of factor into the educational program at the school? Yeah. So Herzliya was founded in 1940. So we're actually over 80 years old. And we've always been a very proudly Jewish school and a very proudly Zionist school. So our community, as you said, is a very tight-knit Jewish community, very committed to the culture and the ethos of Judaism, as well as Israel. And at Herzliya, we believe that it's critical that our students leave our school one day with a strong Jewish identity that they've learned over the 12 years of the education at Herzliya School. And Andes, why do you feel it's important for your students to, to maintain this strong connection to Israel? And, and how is it felt, you know, once they graduate? So um, an interesting fact about Cape Town is that a very large percentage of the Jewish community living in Cape Town is actually sending their children to Herzliya. It's up to 80 percent, and I think it's one of the biggest numbers of any community in the world. And what we find is that quite a large portion of our uh, matriculants, that's the final uh, year of schooling, are going to Israel. At the moment, Jeff, is 22 percent of our pupils, roughly, go to Israel the year after school, either for study, going to the army, um, and that connection is a very real one, and therefore we are trying to make it um, practical and living. And Jeff, you know, you've been an educator at the Herzliya School for, for over 40 years, and as a, a Zionist who over the years has met Israeli leaders, prime ministers, and presidents, you know, I want to ask, how does the, the Hebrew program, which I know you run in collaboration with Ulpan O, Help fulfill your dream, you know, with regards to, to the connection with uh, the Jewish people and Israel. So we believe that it's critical that our pupils leave the school with a sense of conversational Hebrew. We've tried many things over the years. We've done Hebrew through Tanakh and through Sifrut and through Dikduk, etc. And we've come across Ulpan Or, and that we are now using as our curriculum of choice. And the aim of Ulpan Or is to ensure that the people that learn it, that study it, will understand how to have a conversation Hebrew. So with 22% of our matric cohort going to Israel after they finish their schooling, we believe that the most important thing that we can teach them is how to hold a conversation in Hebrew. All the rest will flow from that. So that is our, our mandate. That is what we've decided to do. And we are really hoping that Upan Or will manage to achieve that goal for us. It's early days of us choosing this curriculum. Um, which is why Oli and Joel from Ulpan are visiting us and, and meeting with our teachers and training our teachers. So we are hoping that this will be the answer to our dream of making sure that our students learn how to speak Hebrew. And from that, we'll be able to learn the sources, uh, learn our texts, learn the, our Jewish texts, etc. And Andres, you're also an experienced uh, professional educational director. What's your impression of the contribution of teaching Hebrew at the school? I mean, do the students enjoy learning Hebrew? Is it important for them? I'm, uh, I'm glad that you use the word enjoyment. I think it is critical that we get the pupils to actually enjoy what they're learning. And Open Or does that. Um, that's what part of the big appeal. Um, that's the case with any subject that you teach um, pupils is you want them to enjoy what they're learning and um, yeah Ulpan Or is to the best of what we can see so far getting the children to be much more engaged and as a result you know the thing starts living more um, I've now got uh, several staff members that are starting to also be interested in learning more about Hebrew and you know this is coming from the fact that we are engaging with Ulpan Or so I like it a lot and have either of you learned uh, a little bit of Hebrew as well? I've learned a little bit of Hebrew. I'm, uh, I'm using, um, it's, it's early days. Um, uh, I can say shalom and um, uh, mazel tov and a number of other things. Um, yeah, very enjoyable. Important words. And, and Jeff, how about you? 
So I'm, I'm an exosphere pupil myself. I've, uh, I've been here for many years uh, as a student as well. So um, I studied Hebrew from grade one all the way through to grade 12. But unfortunately, a little bit out of practice, but I can make myself understood when I'm in Israel and uh, I can hold a very basic conversation. So, which is one of the reasons why we decided to look for a, a curriculum that could actually teach the students how to speak the language as opposed to just learning it through um, through stories and through the Tanakh. So um, I'm hoping to start learning with Ulpan or as well to improve my Hebrew. All right, Jeff and Andres, thank you both for speaking with us today.